For this video, we are working inside of Moho once again, and we're going to take a look at switch layers. Switch layers do exactly what the name suggests. It allows you to switch to different layers during your animation. And a good example of this are the mouth poses. We had several mouth poses laid out in Photoshop, and the intention is to only show one at a time depending on the voice clip that you might be lip syncing to or the emotion that you want the character to emote. So here, you'll notice that on our layers, this group was automatically transformed into a switch. And you can tell this is the case because the icon is different compared to the other groups. You'll also note that only one layer is being highlighted at a time and the others are grayed out. And that's to indicate that right now, the switch layer is on MBP and all the others are hidden. If we wanted to change this, we can right click and just note I'm on frame six, not on frame zero while I'm doing this. And we can change this to anything we see fit, such as ETC, which is showing the teeth. And you can see here, we're able to swap to that. What's more is on the timeline right now, you can see I have a switch layer channel that's being created due to swapping in these layers. And if we were to, let's say, advance to frame 12, right click and choose WQ, you can see that we created a keyframe. And even when we highlight over it, it tells us exactly which phoneme or which layer that it's referencing. And if we were to back up, you can see that this changes. So it's ETC until frame 12, and then it switches over to WQ. Now, like your bone layers in your groups, you can create a switch layer by going up to layers and then choosing switch from the list, which will create a blank switch. And then you can start dragging and dropping your files into that if you wish. You can also convert groups over to switches, just like you could when we converted the copper.psd group over to a bone. So one example outside of mouths where this can be useful is the eyelids because you might not want the eyelids constantly on. Perhaps you only want to enable these at certain points when the character is trying to express a different emotion. So what we could do here is let's just re-enable the eyelids so that way we can see them. And I want to right click on eyelids and choose group with selection. Now this is going to put this group inside of another group. And I'm actually going to rename this new group to eyelids. The second group I'm going to rename to on. And I want to now make a new layer and choose vector from the list. I'm going to just click once and then again on this layer. So that way I can easily rename it and then choose to name it off and hit enter. Finally, I'm going to click on that new eyelids group, right click and choose convert to switch. So now we can choose to point it either to the eyelids group or to the blank vector. Of course, the blank vector will make it look like there's no eyelids currently on. But at any point, you could right click on eyelids and choose on or off. And perhaps he's being more sinister or he's talking about something here at this point and you want those eyelids on. We could go in and let's say with on, if we were to expand that, you can see that we have the eyelids separated by left and right. Well, let's make sure we're on frame zero for this. So that way we can do grouping and all that we're going to select those first two eyelid layers, right click and choose group with selection. We can name this one left. Then we're going to come down and group the other two into their own selection. And we'll name this one right. And once again, we can come over here to on right click and convert to switch. So you can choose in this case to have the eyelids on or off. So we can be animating. Let's say we go to frame six. We decide we want them on. And then at this case, we're like, hmm, maybe we only want one on at a time. Well, 
you could then choose if you want to do left or right. Or you could build this even further and have it so that they can both be on at the same time as well. But the point here is I want to show you can actually embed switches within switches if you wish. For right now though, I am going to come in here and just remove the switch functionality on on, so that way we can just control both eyelids just like this. Your eyes could also be used as a switch. So we're just going to come in here, right click on eyes, and then choose convert to switch. So now we could have the eyelids off in this case. And then you have your eyes right here. We could right click and choose if we want to go in and choose blink down or open or whatever we want to do. And then once they're open, then maybe we might want to put on those eyelids as an example. So working with switches is pretty self-explanatory in that it just switches layers. But one more thing to note, it can be a little bit cumbersome to have to right click and choose what layer you want to swap to. So in this case, if we have, let's say mouse selected, we could go up to window and then choose switch selection. And here we get a visual representation of each layer within this group. And it also labels it for us. So this can make, for instance, lip syncing a lot easier because you can use your arrow keys to page forward and back, listen to what the voice is saying, and then put in the phonemes as you see fit. And that is how you work with switches inside of Moho.